Hey, hi there Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda and I'd like to thank you for tuning into those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekly predictive reading for January 2020. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable and please only take those portions that resonate with you. These are general meanings. We'll be using an oracle deck from the card deck of numerology by Michelle Buchanan. Okay, Capricorn, off camera, I've performed a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the basis and the issue of the matter. Number 18 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the moon. This can be a Pisces or a Cancer. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mercury. Anywhere where Pisces or Cancer is prevalent in someone's chart. Now this is feeling some anxieties and insecurities. It could have to do with dreams and intuition. Deception. Illusion. Could be unforeseen perils. It's unfoldment of latent psychic powers. There's exploring the inner unknown. Fantasies. Dreams. The moon's reflected light has always aroused strange passions. It brings out the animal and the primeval side in us. They're very deep fears. They, we can never name them because they come from deep within ourselves. They never entirely surface, and they will always sink back again if we accept this strange side of us, because the moon will calm as well as arouse. These are fears and anxieties, but also fantasies. Feelings and responses to these feelings feeling moody, facing emotional tests, it's imagination and dreams, changeability. There's a need to go with the flow. You're only seeing half of the information. You're dreaming and fantasizing. This is the end of a major cycle, but things are still changing. It's mutable or dreamy qualities in relationships. It's romance and communion of souls. It can be a metamorphosis within the self. It can be a time to look inward and examine personality traits because change is possible from deep within. Could be the qualities of others that are masked for good or bad. Your second card, now this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. Four of Wands, Capricorn, Fire Energy. This is a card of celebration. It's reward after labor. You could be celebrating any kind of milestone, party. It's good times. It's the completion of a stage. This can represent a coming marriage, harvest, taking time to pause and relax. This is an extremely positive card. You'll get to enjoy life. You'll reap rewards and something new is soon coming, a happy time and success. It's planning or celebration reward after all the planning. It's a pause in the activities and a time for rest. Could be a holiday. Could even be purchasing a new home. It's a foundation for creativity. It heralds prosperity, arrival, and rejoicing. Could be taking a relationship to a new level. It's a reward for a breakthrough. Being happy, triumphant, liberated sociable, reaching a milestone. It can also represent a strong community. It's marking a life transition with ceremony or ritual. You could even be putting down roots, celebrating a housewarming. This is the 1111 card portal, twin flame. It brings in a sense of stability and a sense of well-being. If there had been any suffering, there will be a return to happiness. The moon with the four of wands, this can be a party or an event at night. It could be a surprise party. And if it's also that could be someone on the outside, they look stable, but on the inside they have anxiety. It can be hidden truth. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're aware of. The Ten of Pentacles, Capricorn, Earth Energy. Tens are about beginnings and endings, 
This is a card of stability, legacy, family, home, solid family, stable life, inheritance, ancestors. It could be marrying into money. It's a monetary gain. It's enjoying the fruits of labor. Another card that could represent a house or a dwelling. It can be conventional thinking, the establishment, it's wealth and social standing and permanence, wealth and wisdom and physical security. Could be a successful financial venture or inheritance that provides for those concerned, or it could be also be a very special partnership. This could be a card of traditions, a holiday celebration. This is someone that might have a question as to how things should be done, so they should look back to the way their elders would have solved the problem. Could be someone wise beyond their years. This is long-term stability, maybe from passive income or investments. It's family support and stability from money. Could be social standing in a community. The moon with the Ten of Pentacles, this is dreaming of the good life. They want it all, and they want it to be long-lasting and stable. And this isn't for everyone, but it could be a surprise pregnancy within the next year. Your fourth card, this is the card of the future, the results, the outcome, and the resolution. And being in a future position, this can be a surprise. Number 17 of the Major Arcana in the Rider weight deck, the star. This can be an Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. This is a card of great hope and great love. This is makes the Three of Swords that's next uh, minimal. This is wishes coming true. It's insight and inspiration and unselfish aid. It's good health, the gifts of the Spirit. It's great love that will be given and received. It's hope and inspiration and health and the peace and the confidence that comes after the explosion of the tower. It's renewal and faith renewed. It's being at the right place at the right time, nurturing a dream, and the realization of dreams and goals are now possible because your lucky stars are with you in this venture. So make the most of the now. These are heavenly influences surrounding you and blessings are flowing freely like water. It carries great Great promises, bright promises. It's a good time to begin a new project or a relationship because it carries blessings with it. It's major growth and development, and now anything is possible because destiny is working for you. You're being hopeful and peaceful and cooperative, charitable, devoted, inspired, nurturing. This can be the end of a period of travails. Moon with the star card, this is in your higher consciousness can provide valuable insight. It's hoping and wishing and fantasizing, but not doing anything about it. It's being confused, but hopeful. It can represent wishful thinking. And now your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. It's unseen because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. The Three of Swords, Capricorn, Air Energy. This can be a realization of a painful truth. It's a difficult realization, perhaps a flash of understanding. It could be a difficult loss. It could be your hopes were higher than the results. It kind of brings some sorrow and regret. It could be separation and severance, feeling isolated from something or someone you love, and feeling the pain of this separation. Now, because this card is with the star, the pain is minimal. It would be more of a disappointment than something detrimental. Now, let's see. The Four of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles. This represents family or community gathering. It's blessings bestowed due to your perseverance and diligence. The Four of Wands with the Star, this is success beyond your wildest dreams. Yay, Capricorn. 
The Four of Wands with the Three of Swords, this is a recent heartbreak that will turn out to be a blessing in disguise. The Ten of Pentacles with the Star, this is a new family legacy. You're on your way, so keep hope alive. It can represent practical world decisions. Here's your advice from the Oracle deck. Numerology by Michelle Buchanan. Capricorn, you've got card number 22 representing intuition. Card number 22, which is also 2 plus 2 equals 4, which that's stability. And uh, it also makes me think of the moon there. This card encourages you to trust your inner guidance and to embrace the intuitive wisdom that resides within your soul. By drawing this card, you're being urged to honor your sensitivity at all times and to prioritize your premonitions and hunches above practicality and logic. This isn't the time to be influenced by others' opinions or to betray your inner guidance in order to fit in. Instead, you must trust your intuition, for it will never let you down. You are being encouraged to spend quiet time alone. Nature and outdoors will enhance your connection to Source and align your soul with Mother Earth. Likewise, regular prayer, meditation, listening to beautiful music, mindful breathing, and exercises such as yoga will enhance your intuition and help develop your clairvoyant, clairaudient, and clairsentient, and claircosmic abilities. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are encouraging you to trust your inner guidance. When you're indecisive and unsure, always go within, for your intuition knows the path that serves your greater good. When you trust it in yourself and your connection to the divine, you will synchronistically be led to where you need to be. There is an affirmation with this card, and it is, My intuition leads me to where I need to be. Thanks, you guys, Capricorn. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.